What's up everybody, Ghost Gamer here. In this video we are going to be doing a quick overview review of Need for Speed Rivals. Now if you were a fan of some of the older Need for Speed games, you will want to give this a look. And when I say older, I'm talking like um, Need for Speed 3, Hot Pursuit, uh, Hot, even Hot Pursuit 2, uh, Carbon, Most Wanted, both, I, th I think it was uh, 2005-ish? And 2010, uh, you also had Undercover, and I think there was another Most Wanted thrown in the mix, if I didn't mention that already. But either way, you are going to want to give this a good looking over. Again, it's they're keeping with the newer times. It's an open world environment. You're not stuck... Uh, in menus and things of that nature the vehicle handling handling rather is a little tweaky for me uh, I'm not a big fan of the handbrake uh, well at least how they have it coded this time around the handling can be a little uh, it needs to get a little either tweaked or you need to get used to it one of the two uh, I, I think I had that same issue with I'm going to say it was Most Wanted or uh, Hot Pursuit. I can't remember which one. But it is definitely not along the lines of... Or maybe it was Undercover, I'm thinking. But anyhow, it's not along the lines of like Pro Street or The Run, uh, stuff like that. It's better paced, it's better performance, it's better all around as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there are are a few things that they brought into the game that they've had in the past and I'm glad they kept it around stuff like uh, being able to customize your vehicle both visually and performance wise uh, you also have the ability to use uh, pursuit breakers or pursuit traps or pursuit something or another uh, pursuit technology I can't remember what it's called uh, but the downside that I have with it is you're only allowed to have two uh, both for your street racer and for an officer, you, you can only have two. Uh, and you also have to pick, a, like, every time you choose a new car, you have to make sure you assign the pursuit technology to each car. It's kind of annoying. Uh, you also have the ability, like you just saw on screen, to run through gas stations to get your vehicle repaired. They're not impermeable or impervious vehicles, which I kind of like, but kind of gets annoying at the same time. But hey, what are you going to do? The handling, like I said, needs a little bit, uh, needs a little help. But overall, I have no real big complaints with this. Uh, if you find it on sale, I would have to go out and snag it. I don't know if I would pay full price for it for a new copy, quote unquote. Uh, I would probably go out to Amazon or Newegg. I think Newegg, yeah. yeah somewhere online, uh, find it discounted, on sale, whatever. Uh, also, your local game store for like uh, PS3, Xbox 360, and stuff like that. Or, yeah, PS3, Xbox 360. Uh, if they have it marked down on sale or if it's used or whatever, I would go that route. I don't think it would be worth a new game price, but that's just me. It is a racing game, so it's kind of one of those things that... It's not uh, the biggest in my group of things that I like to do, but uh, as far as video game genres are concerned. But hey, to each their own. Uh, that about ties it up for me. Um, I don't really know what more to say without giving stuff away. Uh, could be better, could be much worse. I definitely believe it's worth a shot. Uh, and just like any other of our videos, uh, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comments box below. I will get back to them as soon as I can. Um, if you like the video, if you found it informative, please hit the like button. Uh, also, feel free to subscribe to our channel. That way uh, you kind of are up to date with all of the videos that I kick out. But with that being said, this is Ghost Gamer, and I'm out.